There are many models of scientific calculators in use. Here we'll look at a few that are relatively advanced, but not in the graphing calculator category. These three models represent advanced scientific calculators. Notice they have a lot of functions on them. And notice they all have an ANS, or answer button, or second function near the bottom right. This is a good way to recognize this type of calculator. For this type of calculator, you must enter the operation first. For example, the square root, or the cube root, etc. Then enter the number you want to do the operation on. To finish up, press the equals key on the bottom right of the keyboard. Your answer will be displayed on the screen. Many of these calculators have a designated button for square root, and either a button or a second function for cube root. We'll look at the first of these. The square root button is right here. The cube root function is right above the square root button. We'll zoom in a bit on this area. To find a cube root on this calculator, first click the shift button, then the button with the cube root sign on top. Then enter the number you want to find the cube root of, followed by the equal sign on the bottom right. The square root button on this calculator is right here, and the cube root function is right above the x cubed key. Because it is above the key and in this color, it is a second function. On this calculator, the square root button is right here, and the cube root function is right above it. This is a shift function on this calculator, so you would need to click the shift key first to get at it. The method for finding other roots like fourth roots or fifth roots on these types of calculators varies depending on the model. So it's best to consult the instruction manual or look up how to find particular roots for your model on the internet. Here we've looked at only three models of advanced scientific calculators. However, knowing how to find roots on these should help you with other models we didn't show.